we tested was to see if conferences were a good uh, lead generation opportunity for us. So we basically found um, like the two biggest conferences in our industry and we signed up. Um, I'd never attended a conference like this. Um, and so in the booth package, they said, uh, you got a table and two chairs. And I thought, great, that sounds perfect. Um, I'll print some banners, some handouts, and we'll be good to go. So <laughs> the day before the conference, I get there a little early to prep, walk into the trade show floor. There are entire construction crews. There are teams, like entire marketing teams dedicated to uh, building out these like $250,000 like elaborate displays. Like now it's very obvious that this is the case because now I've been to conferences um, and I'm not 22, but at the time it was horrifying. And uh, so, you know, obviously I, I was panicking. This is in Vegas. So I uh, had to figure out how to scramble and set something up that didn't look quite as dismal next to the competition. So I drove out to like Party City and Ikea, um, bought a few tables, begged the conference organizers for extra carpet. Um, they took pity on me. The construct Some of the construction guys took pity on me and, and helped like set up some of my booth. Um, I went to Party City. I got like 300 balloons. I made a balloon wall so that there was some visual element to this setup. Um, and then I like got a cooler. I filled it with a Croix. I got uh, postcards printed um, with pictures of dogs from our local Oakland dog rescue. And, you know, basically to say, if you give us your email, uh, we'll make a donation in your name to the dog rescue. Uh, it can fit with um, our name, Charge Hound. Uh, and so when the conference started the next day, our booth definitely still had um, sort of a homespun feel to it, but it turned out that that was actually an amazing differentiator for us. Um, you know, the hall was full of extremely polished, extremely glossy uh, boots, um, but also, you know, a lot of corporate slogans, a lot of, you know, very polished, but can also be a little bit empty marketing. Um, and our booth really stood out from all of those other ones. And um, it kind of drew people in because people were curious about us. Um, they loved, they ended up loving the balloon story. They loved the dog postcards, like never underestimate how much people want to talk about their dogs. Um, and so in the end, you know, we stood up that booth for probably less than $2,000 and we got easily $2 million worth of lead generation from that conference. Um, so wow. I think, yeah. So those were like really our main takeaways from that really is very applicable across, you know whatever testing you're doing, but, um, you know, often what you're testing for is not the results you get are not necessarily something you, you knew you were testing for. Um, but they are incredibly valuable. Every single thing is a data point. Um, and so that conference really reinforced that one of our key differentiators as a business, as an early business was we were this tech company in a field of legacy competitors, um, who were not like product led or scrappy the way that we were. Um, we had this brand as an Oakland tech startup. Um, it came through in that booth. Um, it had like a more human element that really drew people in. Um, and ultimately, you know, what I learned from that conference was uh, really that, um, Shane, I think you said this to me earlier, but people want to buy from other people. Um, and they want to often, you know, even prospects at the most established corporate customers um, still want to, you know, be part of a startup story. And that can be very exciting for people and um, very appealing. Um, and so we use those, we use those data points to inform our sales pitch, our go to market strategy. Uh, we incorporated those elements into so much of what we ended up doing. <laughs> nice. 